Yo, what's up, guys? So I'm going to show you how to um, differentiate this function over here. And we're going to use it, use first principles to do it. Now, this one in particular is actually um, slightly difficult. OK, but we've got, I've written the first principle on the right hand side. So let's just try to um, write the derivative here. So limit h approaches to 0. Uh, f x plus h. So our function is just square root x. So let's say x plus h with the square root minus the original function divided by h. Okay. Now the problem here is in other in the previous questions that we did, we did a bit of algebra and then eventually cancelled this denominator, right? And that was useful for us because then we could substitute substitute h equals to zero. Um, the problem here is we can't substitute zero right away because if we have a denominator of zero, uh, hopefully you know like if you divide anything by zero, it will give us a math error like undefined. So that doesn't really give us anything meaningful. Okay. Um, and also at the same time, there's not really much to simplify. Like when you look at this. In the other questions, we had some expanding and cancelling and then factorize the h out and then the h is eventually cancelled. But this one, there's nothing really, really that we can do, right? So that's kind of, kind of the challenge of this question. And basically, uh, I'll show you how to get around this. Okay, so we're basically going to use um, something similar to the idea of difference of two squares. So I'm going to say a plus b, a minus b. Hopefully you guys know what this is. It's a squared minus b squared, right? So I'm going to sort of, if you remember the idea of rationalizing the denominator, um, I'm going to kind of rationalize, rationalize the numerator, okay? Not because I care about it being rational or not, but I want to kind of simplify it, okay? So let's, let's just see what happens. Okay, so this is your like a minus b, right? So on the other side, that means I want a plus b. So just write the same thing. It's just basically just writing the conjugate. Okay, so on the numerator, we should be able to get some nice looking um, uh, numerator. So a squared minus b squared, right? So we have x plus h minus x. Okay, so I basically just used this one. Since we have a minus b times a plus b, we should result in a squared and then minus b squared. All over h. Oops, I should actually write h and... this whole thing. Okay, nice. So we can cancel the x's out now. And we have, oh, and we have just a, a lone h, and we have an h on the bottom. Let's cancel those two. So we have 1 over this. And now it looks like it's a solution that we can just sub our h right in. So we can say 1 over x plus 0 plus root x. Okay, which means we have 1 over, so plus 0 is nothing, right? So if I just rub that out, we have 2 square root x on the bottom. Okay, and that's how we... Uh, that's how we differentiate this using first principles. Okay, when you do these first principles questions, this is probably like one of the biggest caveats that they'll, curveballs that they'll throw at you maybe. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful and I'll catch you in the other one. Laters.